All right, is anybody out there? Let me know. I don't know if you can hear me all right. Today I'm gonna play the don't iron cross or the iron cross hedge or whatever, basically iron cross uh, with a don't pass. Hey, Philip. Hi from Canada. Hey, John. Pass the, hey, Roy. Sound is good, thank you. I'm using just the uh, iPhone earpods. We'll just go ahead and let the, let the, uh, let the point lose or win. We'll hop in next. Thank you, Matt. How are you guys doing? Hey, from Minnesota. Peter, Texas, Yumiko. How are you doing? Columbus. Hey, Nicholas. King Kong. So I put $100 in, and I was going to set it up for a picture, you know, in the form of a cross, and I didn't realize they were working. So I'm actually at, hey, Top Hat. So I'm actually starting with 102.33 because one of my bets won. So, but uh, I'm going to play two units, one unit, one unit with two times odds, I think is the max on this. Maine, what's up, David? California, hey, Sammy. How are the tables in New Orleans? I haven't been there. Well, not for many years. They in October, I'm sure they're great. I'm trying to stay cool, yep. California, yep. Colorado, still in Colorado. Yep, I'm still here for one more month. So in about an hour, I got a, I was heading down to Denver to pick up my wife from the airport and in about an hour, Seattle in the house. Hey, Samer? Samer? Um, I got to pick up my wife from the airport, so I stopped here in Blackhawk. It's about a half hour out of the way, so it makes about a three hour drive. But Kentucky, Derek, do you like the $75 don't come system the best? Not the best, no. For this sharpshooter, you have $2 extra. Anyway, okay, I'll put a, first thing I'll put a sharpshooter back. Not my camera. Uh, I am not using a player's card, no. This actually does give points, but it's so slow, it's not even, I mean, really not worth it. I don't play $15 tables. Inside bets were for suckers. Oh, sorry, I'm reading a regular YouTube comment. Hey, from Tampa, go Bucks, huh? Bucks are all right. When I lived in Florida, I kind of, I kind of followed the Dolphins more. Still waiting for the point to resolve. Yeah, the, I know the East Coast is a lot more expensive. They'll, they'll come down, I think. Just give it a little time. Yeah, I'll play $10 or $5, but 15 no thanks. And there's enough 5 and 10 on this end of the country. That's not a big deal. I guess you guys have a personal joke going on. I'm at the Grand Z. Are we still rolling the same point? Man, I should just probably get into this. But I'm, for this strategy, I need a don't pass bet. So just hang in there and then we'll get some action going. I know people are already leaving because we're just sitting and watching nothing. I mean, I guess I can tilt it up for the real bubble. Wait for the 10 or the seven. One hit, can't miss, should be good. Unless you can't get one hit. California craps, yep. You mean real dice, yep. Hard four. I'm at the Grand Z Casino in Central City, which is it's basically connected to Black Hawk in Colorado. Dang, this roll keeps going. I need to get into it. I only got an hour before I got to leave to pick up the wife. Yes, Colorado, uh, uh, outside of Denver. Yawn, start playing. Well, I'm waiting to show the strategy. 
Uh, I like this one because of the automatic um, screen pops up, but I like the pacing of it. The individual's nice. This one forces it at a certain time. 20 or 30 seconds, I don't know. Come on, 10 or seven, let's just get this over with. Six, okay. Well, I got two bucks. We're just gonna machine craft better than live table. No, live table is 100 times better. You got the dealers, you got uh, the environment. Everything about it is way better. All right, I got two dollars. We'll just let them ride on here, just for. You know, this is what this is gonna bring, right? No, okay, we won. Uh, the individual bubbles, you just you hit the button yourself, but you can see your own bubble, so. Hollywood Mayor. I lost 200 of the bubble next car. I wasn't pressing but so I didn't build wings when the rolls were hitting. Wife was scared. Yeah. Can the game give us the right numbers? I don't know what that, what you mean by that. Yeah, the table here is $10. I mean, I'm just stopping for a little bit. I mean, I got 100 bucks, so I threw it in the machine. And it's always fun to just talk to you guys. I can't really film or chat and talk to you guys at the real table. Dang, this is just like a monster roll. I think this happened the very last time I sat through on a monster roll. All right, 101, I guess I could bet another dollar. This is not my strategy. I'm gonna do the uh, Iron Cross Hedge if I can get this point resolved. We'll win in the field and then we'll spread out a little bit to this numbers. Surely this will bring big red. Go to Gold Coast, less people, dollar crabs. We're gonna play bubble crabs next time we go to the casino. See what, yeah, nice. Yeah, there's uh, plenty of low roller places in, uh, in the edge of Vegas. See, they got football on the screen here and basketball. It looks like the playoffs. Looks like a scrimmage game for old misses on the other TV. Hey, we hit the point. All right, so what we're going to do, uh, let's get rid of these. We're going to start with a dollar on the don't for the come out. So we'll do one units and two units. And then um, we'll do double odds on the don't. Oh yeah, I forgot the sharpshooter. Dang it. All right, back on that 10. It's the hedge, the iron cross hedge is what I call it. So we'll do, oh, we can add four times odds. And then we'll do uh, two units, two units, two units, one unit. So with this, yeah, I did max odds, which is $2. So I bet I, two times odds, so I can bet $4. Uh, so we're looking to avoid the 10. Oh, I guess I gotta rebet that. So we're looking to basically, and in the field, we're basically looking to just keep rolling numbers all day and avoid the 10. All right, field winner. Yeah, I mean, I, it doesn't, you know what, here, let's just do it, move it to place. It's only like a couple pennies better to buy it. So I'm gonna just do a place bet, um, just so I don't forget about it. 
The outside numbers you always buy on the electronic machines because they don't round down, so you actually get paid more if you buy them versus place them. So you always want to buy the four, five, nine, and ten. Um, I'm I'm going to just place it just because it automatically comes down every time, which is annoying. So we'll just stick with it this way. Any casinos in Vegas you recommend? I mean, all of them. I mean, it just depends what you're looking for. A high-end one, that's nice. Uh, there we go, double in the bubble. I'm at the Grand Z, Denver, Colorado. Um, you know, you want a low locals place that's cheap. I, I prefer the Fremont Street more than the Vegas Strip, but I mean, the Vegas Strip is awesome if you haven't been there to visit all the casinos and stuff and experience and play a little bit, but I prefer to play and hang out on Fremont Street downtown. Yeah, this is a fine strategy, I guess. All right, so we hit our five, which means we got to replace our field. Um, I'm not a big fan of staying in the field forever. I usually use it very minimally just to cover all the numbers, but because I'm showing this strategy, we're going to stick with the iron cross until the end. <laughs> See, so we win 4.33, but lose a dollar in the field. So what do we, we net in a couple dollars, I think. And then the next hand will maybe uh, bump up another level if we win any money here. So with the don't and the odds, we'll get a little rebate back if, you know, Big Red shows. Yeah, Fremont, I was there Memorial Weekend. What rolled actually? Oh, the three, okay, so we won in the field. I was there Memorial Weekend, Saturday night, and everywhere except for the new Circa had $10 tables. So it's pretty low, you know, pretty affordable. I didn't even notice the hard ways. Okay, there's the seven. So we're gonna lose oh, two, four, six, seven, and we won back three or something. All right, so we're up to 112. So we're up 12 bucks. So we're, we're gonna double up everything, and we'll do that sharpshooter just for top hat. All right, that's a win on the don't. We'll take that. We'll just sit there all day. Twos and threes, let's see them. Uh, he stays at the Bellagio. Oh, the Bellagio is beautiful. I usually go there every time just to see their change up their gardens. Uh, I think, I don't know how the sharp shooter bets. It's like, you gotta hit the point. Oh, we lost our don't. We got a guy in a suit and a walkie-talkie checking me out. He don't apparently care. All right, nine. Uh, so we'll do it max odds, and then we'll do, what do we say? Four dollars, four dollars. Oh, we're gonna place that. Four and two. So two and then four. And if we lose money, then we'll drop back down to um, one dollar. Field winner. Let's see, did my chat go away? Live chat. So 
So with what we have outlaid here, we've got uh, $94 out here. My sharpshooter's already down, so. All right, 10 minutes of field winner for us. We just got to avoid Nina. Five, six, eight, lay the 10. Yeah, that'd be another way to hedge. Oh, I see. Yeah, so every number's covered. You got the five, six, five, six and eight. Everything else is in the field. Um, and then your don't basically covers, you know, seven, if it shows. A lot of people will play it without, without a pass line or without the don't, and then they just um, will do five, six, eight in the field, which it forms across. You win with everything except for the seven. <clears throat> Yeah, we got $8 on the nine. We need to avoid it. What did I say we started this hand at? 112, we're at 103. So we need to, oh, and there it is. So this is the worst case. We lose our nine. Oh, we win in the field too. So let's go ahead and stay here. We're at 107, so we're, I think we're okay. Nah, I'm just sticking straight to the strategy. There we go. Another don't winner. Um, yeah, I mean, I've been through, I mean, most of them. What's the one right by, is it Biloxi, Mississippi? Um, I've been through New Orleans, California. I haven't been on the East Coast, like uh, the Carolinas. Okay, uh, we're gonna, how much odds can we lay? Six? And we kind of got like a double hedge going with this five now. Kansas, um, no. Oklahoma, yes. Double in the bubble there. Uh, but I haven't been on the East Coast. I haven't been to like uh, Atlantic City, Carolinas, anything like that. What is it, Charlotte or what am I thinking of? I haven't been to the Maryland ones. I would never play there anyway because where their table is 25. This is a cheap table, and that was before pandemic. Yeah, Cherokee, there you go. Yeah, Cherokee's the big kind of spot in North Carolina. Okay, Connecticut. Is that That's where uh, Mohegan and um, the one across the street, right? I haven't been up there, so... Basically, all the East Coast I haven't been. I've been to almost everywhere else. I've been to, uh, uh, hey, thanks, Greek Ken. All right, so we sevened out. So we win or don't, we lose our other bets. So we're up to 117. So we're doing fine, so we'll stick at this level. Uh, what's the play at Mount Rushmore? I played up there. Deadwood. Deadwood, South Dakota was really cool. I'm in uh, Grand Z, outside of Denver. All right, we're back on that nine. Railing table minimum is now fifty dollars. Yeah, it's all that politician money. They uh, they don't care. They take our tax money and then they play it at the tables. Uh, what are we doing? Four dollars. Two. Uh, Six, 
six wins. We lose in the field. Laurel, Mississippi. Well, has one crab sale fight. I that doesn't sound familiar, so I must say no. I I did a road trip through there, so I stopped it as many as I could, like a couple of years ago. Basically, right, right when I was starting my channel, so I didn't really record anything. Or is that the point? Dang it! Sure is. So we'll just go don't pass for the come out. Have you ever seriously considered saying the dice when you're the shooter? No, I haven't seriously considered it. Hey, 555 craps. Good to see you doing, back doing videos. Elvis song, yeah. <laughs> you know what that means. If you can recognize it, YouTube recognizes it. Oh, seven, that's a loser in the come out. No monetization for this video. That's all right, these are just for fun. This is the Elvis remix version, right? Uh, hey, Steven. Uh, we're actually, I'm at 100 even, which is basically what I started with. So I haven't gone anywhere, which is kind of how the strategy works out, it seems like. Um, all the Deadwood casinos, almost all of them. There's only like four of them that have tables. What did we roll? Oh, a 12, so push. Post, post hu, 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 humorous, humorous, uh, Elvis. Triple Martingale the cross after the seven just for fun. <laughs> There's a front line winner. Well, back line winner. I don't know what. Winner for us on the line. Dice order color is blue. Those looked all, yep, blue has been ordered. And so three months from I don't know, a week or two ago. We should have the blue ones in. Club members get first dibs. Oh, that's awesome, Nicholas. I love this game, and it's really what I, I'm i all about, you know. I'm just about promoting the game. Yeah, that's really cool, Nicholas. Um, that's why I exist, is just to promote the game. I want it to be the number one game in the casino again. It's exciting, it's fun. Actually, I have been to the casinos in Kansas. Um, I didn't play, I don't think, but they're the ones that, they're like, they look like they're real buildings. Did I lose on the don't again? I got it. Still more horn numbers. And, um, but they're actually floating on water or something? Because I drove through Kansas City because my son was in the army there in Manhattan. So actually, I have been to a couple of those casinos. All right, four is a good one for us. Hopefully. The dice gods will. So we got, we got a big bet laying against that at four. Anyone just tuning in, we're doing the uh, hedge iron cross. Basically a don't pass and then the regular iron cross. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what the? F <laughs> oh, I hit it right back. Wow. Down goes our big don't lay. Yeah, the boats, Kansas, the Kansas boats. Um, no, so they allow two times. So basically, I had a flat bet of two, which means I could win um, four dollars two times. The, you know the flat bet. So I could win four, which means I could bet eight on the four and ten because it pays one to two. So you bet eight to win four, which would be double. Yeah, yeah. All the numbers are just two times here. Encore Boston's nice. Okay. I haven't, yeah, I heard nice things about it. All right, we'll just leave it on the five, sir. Like here, it can bet six to win four because it pays two to three. 
Uh, bankroll says we're down to eighty dollars. We're down twenty bucks so far. That last roll really hurt us. I mean, really hurt us. I mean, I'm playing a dollar game, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Field winner. Valley Forge Casino, $15 minimum tables. No Dewey Don't, $5 minimum inside bets. Um, you mean prop bets? Yeah, usually they don't bump it up to $5 until you're at a $25 table. If you in Topeka. Okay, Dodge City. All right, so our bets came down, but we won on our don't. So we're at $94. So we're only down a couple bucks. And we're starting over the new point. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I could take it. It doesn't. I mean, I've got a hedge of a hedge going. It's kind of silly. I mean, I'm not. I don't normally play like this anyway. I'm not. I'm not a fan of hedge. Should be a good point for us. We'll see. And for anyone joining on these machines, you always want to buy. Um, four, five, nine, and 10, the outside numbers, because they pay a little bit better, but not that much better. So I'm just gonna keep it a place, just because I'm talking here and I'll lose track of it. The buy bets automatically come down on this machine. All right, field winner. Slow way to win some money here. Ideally here, we just keep rolling numbers, rolling numbers, rolling numbers. And then finally, Big Red. But anyway, I was saying, like, I'm not a big hedge fan just because of that. It's just like you're, it's, you just kind of get nowhere. So I won on the eight, but I lost the field. So it's, most iron crosses, you, you bet a little more here than you do the field. Here I'm doubling it. Or actually, you do a reverse. Like, I could put $4, four dollars here and $2 in the 5, 6, and 8, if you think more field numbers are going to roll. House edge on the field. Let's see if this one pays double or triple. This one pays double on both, so the house edge is 5.6%. If, uh, if you can find a table that pays triple on one of the numbers, it drops it down to 2.78%, which is better than... Um, betting the four, five, nine, ten, really only the, f the six and eight and the line bets are better. I don't think we rolled enough before we hit that seven, but we're all right. We're at $95. So I think I started this hand at 94. So that's what I'm saying. We hit a couple numbers and the seven out and you get nowhere. That's why I'm typically not a hedge player. But it's fun, you know, you can hang out. It just depends what your goals are. You've never seen it, but I've heard of it. I'm not sure, I missed what you're talking about. Why not put some on the four and 10 when they aren't the point? When they aren't the point? Um, I'm not putting anything on the four and ten because I have it in the covered in the field. I'm missing a few comments here. Oh, there we go. I've heard the casinos do triple the two and the twelve for a bonus event. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that would be zero house edge if they both pay triple. Um, I know a couple native uh, casinos have done it from time to time, but it's, yeah, just a short-term promotional to uh, attract people to the casino. I know um, Albuquerque was kind of, did I hit my freaking point again? Sure did. Um, Albuquerque had a couple tables like that, just, just to draw people in, promote it, and then uh, they usually, they don't last long. They don't like to have a zero house edge bet. Thanks, Eric, for watching. You hedged the four with the hard four. Uh, a little bit, but again, yeah, like, I'm not a hedger, so. This time maybe we'll just, uh, we'll try it like that.
<laughs> Seven right away. So we're down to 86. So we're down, folks. So up there it says last bet was 18 and we won 14. So we actually lost four bucks. Lincoln City, Oregon. Odds and don't come on five, question mark. Uh, that's what it was. Oh, seven, that's a loser for us. How long is this session? Um, I don't have a clock, my watch died. So I gotta leave at 10 to pick up my wife at the airport. So if someone could give me a shout out when it's about nine, give me a heads up at uh, 9.45. 8.45 Pacific. Yeah. Takes a lot of hits to be neutral, to get neutral. 15 minute. So it's 9.30 now. What did we roll? What the heck did we just roll? 11. Oh, dang it. We're still losing. 20.30. Oh, man. Don't give me army time. Makes my brain tilt. That's how my wife works, because... On, all on army time with her job. All right, I got 15 minutes left. All right. Just need to avoid the six. I mean, with this hedge too, you could um, collect a few hits and then pull your, um, you know, your place and field down and just ride it out. Yeah, I mean, I could, but I'm, I'm uh, not fully hedging the hedge. But don't come on live tables. Um, 20% of the time. Did you ever put my $10 in Casino Quest in the field? I believe so. What did I just roll? I'm losing track. Oh, the 12, okay. We got paid double there. What is your bankroll? Um, I'm down to $75 now and I just hit that freaking six. Start with 100, we're down to... My wife says hello. Hello, Sammy. His wife. Westgate, Las Vegas in August for a pool tournament. Anybody been there? Yeah, I've stayed at the Westgate. I think it's the Westgate. It's kind of behind. Um, don't come on live tails when you're playing the ATS always. Oh, really? That's kind of. All right, nine. I will tell Mrs. Keller up high. <laughs> Thanks, Steph. We're actually getting a hotel here in Denver. Uh, my kid has a track meet up here. Instead of driving three hours tomorrow morning after I pick her up at 11, driving home for three hours, coming back in the morning for three hours, we're just going to get a hotel. Okay, so we took another hit. We're down to $73. Yeah, I didn't think I would, but yeah, I was um, Saturday, Memorial Day weekend, all everything downtown, all had $10, except for Circa. I don't think I played when I stayed at the Westgate, I was just there. I've been to Windstar, yep. Yeah. Did you ever go to Vegas comps just for fun? I didn't, I missed that. Windstar is gigantic, it's like a giant mall. With a <clears throat> with a uh, slot machines everywhere. All right, now that should be a good point for us. So eight dollars to win four. So that's two times our bet, and then we'll 
think we're going to have to drop down to $1 bets. Thank you, Worldwide. Tonight we're just having a little bit of fun here. Oh, the seven. We definitely lost some money on that. How did you do for the CG Casino Strap Meetup? I didn't really, I didn't really play because uh, they had cheap tables for um, blackjack and roulette, but not the craps tables. Craps tables were fifteen dollars, I think, that night. I didn't play. Oh, they won't let me do it now. Look at that. Guess you have to have the bet up beforehand. They won't let you uh, play it like that. Hey, Top Hat, can you uh, take care of that last guy? Uh, the shooter is using hardway set. Have you ever won ATS? Yes. Welcome from NC USA. What's up? Is that a freaking point? Sure is, dag on it. I'm gonna put this up there just in case. Well folks, we're down below 50. Ah, uh, there's a guy just really crude in the comments like a minute ago. Just to put him in like timeout. If he keeps it at it, then I'll ban him. All right, we're, we're definitely below 50, so this is going to be a losing session. So we're testing out the um, <coughs> Iron Cross Hedge, and it's not working tonight. Um, Roll to win? Are you? Let's see. Are you talking about the uh, the mission? I'm too nice. Uh, all right, forty bucks. Here we go. Yeah. Well, I'm just not a hedger, personally. Uh, Boston Billiards, is, are things open up over there? Oh, we got a $25 super chat from, who was that? Alpha Wiz, thank you very much. Shoot to win. Yeah, is that where you roll on the, on the electronic table, but you actually roll dice? Jared, run and catch me live for the first time. Where are we at? Hold on, I'm losing track here. Oh, we're in the come out. Shoot. Did I get it moved? No. Come out roll is a four. Oh, the, press the button, lady. Oh, that, that would have been a good one. Um, so we lay it, I guess. Would have been like eight bucks. Just trying to reread comments and I lost track of where I was at. Field winner in the 10. So we're... Uh, we're way down tonight. 50% down. Oh, chat go away. Live chat. Oh, there's the seven. So we lose 12, 14, and we only win four. That's no good. Hopefully we can uh, walk away at $50, only down 50%. We'll see here. We need to roll a few numbers before we uh, see red. You've been hitting points and lay against it. I'm just sticking to the strategy. Twenty thirty-eight. Okay. 
Thank you, appreciate it. I should probably leave at 10 till. I should check the flight number. Yep, you can't really uh, predict this game. Just have to hope the dice gods like you. Don't forget to take your odds on the pass deck. Oh, as far as the machines running different, um, no, they're all the freaking dice bouncing around with rounded edges. I mean, if you watch, like on this one, and we got a three here, field winner. Let me tilt this up. They'll usually have the stats, and I mean, it's off a little bit, but after so many rolls, it basically follows the probability chart always. So it's, I would never, yeah, you can track these as much as you want. The more you track them, the closer to mathematical probability you'll see. Electronic games, I don't know, once, twice a month. <laughs> a lot more in the pandemic than I ever did um, before, for sure. So the last year or so, a lot more. When all the table minimums went up. We need a nice long hand before we hit the... Uh, eh. That wasn't long enough. We're at $40. Using a $10 bankroll and have had some success. $10 bankroll, I'm not sure how you play, play like that. Uh, I was just recently to Reno and I'm moving there in July. I don't, I'm not aware of all the tables yet. So you should be getting a whole bunch of Reno information next year. Six, not my favorite. Is your bubble craft better than stadium? Come on, push the button. Atlantis, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, there's gotta be someone up there who's gonna forge, forge a partnership with me, so. It's hard, hard to catch up only winning two dollars at a time. What's your longest streak? Uh, shooting myself, or I don't know, I'm not sure what you mean. This session, Peppermill vote. Yeah, Atlantis had five dollars, I think is what Top Hat said when he was there. Practice system on five. Dollars. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Sports betting, they have a nice sports book. I'll try to hide the dice quicker. Uh, shooting, I don't know. Um, on a real table, like 30. <laughs> Some of my videos, it's been over 50s. Another field winner. Lannis and the Pepper, no best sports book, okay. I noticed the ones downtown, like the Circus Circus and the other two that are, they're all connected. They were, their tables were like 15, 25. I'm like, what in the world, we're in Reno. Why are, why are you, why are the tables so high? Oh, seven. I don't think we rolled enough to have a winning hand. Yeah, we're at 45 bucks. Eldorado Silver Legacy connected, called the row. Yes, 
Thank you very much. I mean, they're cool, but I was surprised that they, they had their tables. So, and it was like empty. No one was there. See, that's nice. I mean, that's what you do. Have a $5 table and have a $25 uh, table. Just don't have both. To take your odds on the oh. Give people options. They could play $50 on the $5 table. I understand it gets full, and that's the reason why in the pandemic you only got, you know, whatever, six players instead of 16. So, hey, shoot. Okay, look. Well. Nugget and Sparks have bubble craps. There was one I really I liked in uh, Carson City. I forget what it was called. I played on it for a little bit. Ooh, 2045, dang it. I'm not gonna win my money back here tonight, folks. I'm gonna bounce in five minutes. Double on the bubble, that'll help. You just need to do that 10 times. The $16 inside for one hit and regress to $4 normally works. This cross is not working. It is not working for me. That's what the video is about. Testing out, showing it, how it works and doesn't work. Problem with it. Reno ain't what it used to be. Vagrants, I was looking over my shoulder while walking out. Actually, I was there. It was pretty cleaned up. I don't know when the last time you did it. I know they're doing uh, sweeps um, to move everyone out because they built some big tent city thing and they're moving all the vagrants out. So I was actually surprised how clean it up and they're not like the other cities that allow tents and stuff in the streets downtown. I was up 20,000 in Reno one night and then I lost the rest of the story. All right, seven. Do we got our, let's see, clear my bet. There we go. 51, so we lost 50% of our money. There you go. Um, not sure how it done my real table when I did this video before, but here in the bubble, it did not go well, obviously. Reno every other day. Sweet. Definitely, uh, you have, we'll definitely hook up then. Not hook up, but you know what I mean. <laughs> How's your favorite strategy of bubble craps different from your favorite live crap strategy? Let's see. I'm not sure what that means. It would be the exact same. Oh, I see. Yeah, the, the bubble is the same thing for me it's just lower minimum so any strategy i like i play for me that's basically getting up on all the numbers across somewhere or the other whether it's using the field or starting inside and spreading out it's betting the horn high low a suckered bet um if it wins it's not but yeah it's a very high house edge bet want to roll dice you just miss them just uh checking out <coughs> Harris was open when I was there. Okay, so if Harris was open, they've actually just bought that and they're going to turn it into because uh, it it's closed and they, um, yeah, condos and uh, shopping and stuff I guess. So it should be pretty cool. It'll really help that downtown I think. Can you do 16 inside without a line bet? Yeah, on this machine you can. You don't have to have a line bet to roll because it's automatic. I stayed at Harris the last couple of days and was busy and they had to roll around. Yeah, if it wins, it's not a sucker bet. I mean, that's what people say. I mean, but what, if the guy, if I'm betting a line bet with full odds and this guy puts $100 on midnight and it hits, who's the sucker? I mean, <laughs> I'm like sending it for three days next week. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you stopping in and hanging out with me for a little bit. Um, I don't, they don't have a timer. Oh, wait, actually, I lied. They do have a timer, so let's see. So, as soon as that decision made, it's 20 seconds. Yep, 20 seconds. All right, uh, this is the blackjack machine I like. Enjoy the live stream. Thank Does he walk away after that win? Good to catch you live. Thank you. See you in uh, Reno. All right, bye guys.